Hi everyone and welcome to your second of four lessons under the introduction tab of the Water in the World Teaching and Learning website resource. This is lesson two, the world's oceans and seas. Make sure to check out the link in the description of this video to access this particular lesson. So let's begin. Your success criteria for this lesson, by the end of this lesson you need to know the names and locations of the world's oceans and seas and you're to be able to locate the world's oceans and seas on a world map. So your first activity you're going to do as a class is to watch this video here by Ted Ed on how big is the ocean. So let's get an understanding of what we're going to be learning about this lesson. While you're watching the video, write three facts from this video under a title called How Big Is The Ocean? And be ready to share your facts with the class afterwards. After the, watching that video and sharing your facts and recording your facts as well, you've got to complete this worksheet here. So this is your main task for the lesson. So what you're going to do is you're going to plot the world's oceans and seas on the world map provided down here. Fun fact, the world has five main oceans and seven main seas. So what we want you to do is use internet research, Google Maps or Google Earth to label the oceans and seas on the worksheet provided. The world map is on the back page of the worksheet there. Um, if you're struggling, you can use these links below. So let's have a look at the worksheet. So if you're learning from home, you can open up the tab like so and you can print it using that button there. So these are the oceans and these are the seas you need to label on this world map here. So we've got the Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean and Southern Ocean. And then the seas, we've got the Arabian Sea, the Beaufort Sea, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, the Caribbean, the Mediterranean, the North Sea, the Red Sea, the South China Sea and the Tasman Sea. Let's have a look at these two links here. I've already got one of them open um, that has the location of the five main oceans. So I'm going to model that for you now very quickly. So we can see the Pacific Ocean is located north and northeast of Australia here. You can see these uh, borders in this check a little bit here. Remember the world is round, so the Pacific Ocean goes around and of course meets the coast of North America and South America as well. So I'm going to go ahead and label this on my map. So I'm going to say Pacific Ocean, just like so, and I'm over here as well, I'm going to say Pacific Ocean because the world is round, I need to make sure I know what ocean is over there. Looking at the map next, I'll do the Indian Ocean next, which is located here. I'll just move that so we can see. Fantastic. Next ocean I'll do is the Southern Ocean, which is down here. Cool. Next ocean is the Atlantic. And I'll just edit this so we can see it. Fantastic. And up at the top, we have the Arctic Ocean. Fantastic. So that's what you would do. Oh, geez. That's what you would do to complete uh, the oceans. Just having a look at the seas now. So I'm just going to go back into the website. I'm going to use this link to help me with the seas. The seas are much tinier. And you can see they're located on this, this map here. It's going to be able to help you. That's if you're really struggling. You can use Google Maps and Google Earth to fill out this worksheet as well. After you've finished labeling all the oceans and seas on your map, like we've done with the oceans, um, you can do a Kahoot with your class as well, which gets you to test your knowledge on how well you know the locations of these oceans and seas. So thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to stay updated to any new websites that are made or any other new lessons that are made in existing websites like this one here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.